What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, welcome to this series. We're going to be taking over the Vanderbilt Commodores in NCAA Football 08 on the PlayStation 2 as Coach Jimmy Charl. Uh, we're taking over Vanderbilt. They are not a traditionally successful team and they are in the SEC so it'll be fun. Also went through uh, and named all the coaches. As all the players have their names and all the coaches have their name. I don't really know if that matters. We're going to see if coaches move around or not. I don't know if they do other than just the user coach. So I guess this is going to be our opportunity to find out. But yeah, we're going to be taking over Vanderbilt in the SEC. Just to take a look at the roster here, we have a junior redshirt quarterback. It's not bad. 84 overall with 84 speed. I like me some speed at quarterback. Another 84 overall behind him, but with 65 speed, we're not really going to be too keen on old Ko Kovalchik. We have a young quarterback with some speed, though, and Smith, so I am pretty excited to see how he is in the future. And if we wind up struggling, we may try out Kovalchik with his uh, better power and accuracy in throwing the football. We got Kaysen Jackson Jason which I'm guessing is supposed to be Gibson. The name was just too long. Um, Jared Jennings, Hawkins, Gaston Miller, and Jermaine Doster at running back. A freshman there. And we'll be taking a look at who we are going to redshirt here in a minute. And there will be a few of them, including this fella here, Ryan Van Rensburg at fullback. Not very good at pass blocking or run blocking. But we're going to redshirt him, see what we can hold on to for next year. Let Bubbis or Bubis or whatever get the start this year. Earl Bennett is really the lone bright spot on the offense at 95 overall as a receiver. And we'll probably may move him around um, in some formations, just trying to get the ball into his hands and see if we can't get some stuff done. Hopefully. Hopefully that goes well. So look at the tackles, guards. Not really any great other than one tackle. Not really any great offensive lineman, but kind of what we expect starting here at Vanderbilt. Eh? Lewis Stone, Stewart, Gatewood, Stokes, and Kadari, and Whit Whittington at defensive end. Defensive tackle, we've got Horrocks, Billinger, Holmes, Hall, and Dole. Bugs, Bryant, Newton, Campbell, and Benoist. Benoist? Uh, our best player on defense, though, is going to be Goff, the middle linebacker. Cornerback is not good. We have a little bit of speed out of two of the players, at least. Um, but no, overall, not really any good players at cornerback. Nothing great at safety. We have a 72 overall freshman and a 74 overall sophomore at strong safety. So if we redshirt one or two of those guys, maybe they'll be good coming into next season or on down the line, which is really where we're looking. Not really looking to um, be a national champion by any means this year, but we're going to work on getting there. We'll scroll through the preseason polls, which shows all the teams, um, not just the top 25. Like, I think there's 118 teams, 119. I'm not sure. I think it's 118. But anyway, as you can see, Vanderbilt is number 62 C plus overall B minus offense C defense C plus special teams so yeah that's not good but really 62 could be a lot worse I guess that does put us in the bottom half of the teams but it is what it is right okay so it is 119 here's a look at the all Americans starting the first year Brom Hart, Schmidt, Manningham, Marcus Monk. That's Malik Monk's older brother, in case anyone doesn't know that. Lima Swede, Rucker, Richardson, Stale Byers, Arnold, Charles, Harvey, Jameson, Ellis, Dorsey, uh, Adibi, Hall, James, Oliver, Kaysen, DeCloud, Zibikowski from Notre Dame, uh, Colt Brennan, Ray Rice, Steve Slayton, we got Cox, Hall, TJ Hall, Hawkins, Fred Davis, Baker Miller called well to Vega Young Gilbury Groves Oakham Fluin Connor Maluga 
Dribble King, Williams, Phillips, Hartley, Hughes, and Deshaun Jackson. There's no return man for first team, which I don't understand. But anyway, we do have Earl Bennett on uh, first team all conference, as well as our tackle Chris Williams, also first team. Mm. Jonathan Goff, middle linebacker. We got three first team all conference. Uh, looking at second team, it's looking like a lot of Florida. It's not looking like a lot of Vanderbilt at all. So, three first team, none on the second team. So, we'll come in in red shirt. Larry Smith at quarterback, the freshman with the 80 speed. Looking forward to having him going forward. We got a sophomore and a freshman running back. We'll redshirt both of them. Redshirt Rinsberg and let Bubbas take the start there. We got Earl Bennett and we have one uh, freshman receiver at the end. We are going to redshirt. Take out Fisher on the offensive line. Just about it. Stokes and Kadri. I think Kadri. At defensive end. And then Billinger, and maybe Hall, maybe let him come around next year. We'll see. I'm just as confused as you are. Uh, no, okay. Outside linebacker, Nathan Campbell, a 72 overall sophomore, will be redshirted as well as the freshman. Another freshman linebacker, DJ Moore, we're going to redshirt, and Lewis will be redshirted as well. Graham. Red shirt and Trice. Red shirt, and we will use cornerbacks to fill in the safety uh, depth chart. Is kind of the thinking there. But we'll see how that goes. We can always take them off the red shirt if we wind up needing to. It's just then you can't use the red shirt going forward, which is unfortunate. So we're going to start off the season against Richmond. Uh, kind of get our bearings, see if uh, we're any good at this game. See if we're not, which we're probably not. Then we'll play Alabama, Ole Miss at home, bye week Eastern Michigan at home, at Auburn, Georgia at home, at South Carolina, Miami University at home. And I was not reading that nearly fast enough. But uh, this is the players, the list of the players that we are going to start out the season recruiting. We'll see how it goes. And probably wind up keying in on four or five of them particularly but we're going to start out trying to give all of them some points here or at least most of them some points here give the five star four star the top guys more points put some on these lower guys here and then we'll just see we'll just go from there as the season goes on all we can do is all we can do right so that's where we're at with it And then finally, the finalized depth chart. Again, Earl Bennett is pretty much going to be the offense, it looks like. Uh, not much of a choice, really, as far as just getting him the ball as much as we can. Uh, so we'll move him around into some running back positions, uh, kick return, punt return. And then we'll also set up I guess kind of like a wildcat formation. One of our shotgun formations, we'll put him at quarterback, and we can run some options and maybe run some design pass plays, but just scramble out with him and not actually throw it. See how it goes. Just to try to get the really the only playmaker on the team, at least starting out. Maybe somebody will come out and surprise us, but as of right now, he's going to be really the only one that we're counting on to move the ball for us. So. We are going to put uh, Bennett, I want to say we'd put him at kick returner and punt returner, get his speed and his playmaking ability, again, anywhere we can, we're going to get the ball to him, uh, put a different long snapper out there, and then, so the shotgun bunch with the three bunch to the right is going to be the one, I don't know why I said right, but to the right is where we're going to put Bennett as our quarterback. And then we're going to have Fagan, the cornerback, be our running back for when we run that option. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's a look at Richmond, who we'll be taking on in our first game. And until then, y'all do it too.